Hi, I'm Heather. I am the Unveiled Psychic and today I'm talking, just doing a little video all about why when you talk to a psychic, psychics don't seem to be able to give you specific details, um, they seem quite vague, uh, they talk very generally, in quite general terms about what is happening and why is that exactly. Well, first of all, you have to understand um, how psychics get their information, where are they getting it from. Um, now, if they're using a tool like a tarot deck, if they're using a deck of cards, for example. Um, now, tarot is interesting because obviously each card has a meaning but as you can see if they are an intuitive reader they're dealing with images they're dealing with pictures um, if you're dealing with someone who's clairvoyant they are dealing with images they are dealing with pictures so how they get the information is basically an image in their head that they then have to interpret for um, for the person they're reading for. Um, so I'll give you some examples. Um, I just did a reading for a lovely, lovely lady and one of the images that I had to give to her was a suite. Um, now I do get this sometimes where I will get an image of something and then I have to try and interpret, decide what that image is, what it means for that person in particular, what it's relating to. Um, so long and short of it is, it's up to the reader to interpret the information they're getting. Now there are actually eight different psychic senses um, one of the most important senses that we work with is clairsentience, which is an, a knowing, um, just a, a, a knowing of a situation, of um, what that meaning of that, one of, what our other senses are giving us, um, what the meaning behind that is. So with something like a suite, it could be specifically the suite, for example, <laughs> I had, um, I was shown a packet of polos once um, to give to someone I was reading for. She knew exactly what that meant. Um, I had no idea, <laughs> um, but for her it had a good deal of meaning. Um, so sometimes the reader, uh, the person you're reading for, the sitter, will know exactly what you're talking about, what the reference is. Um, this is more true in mediumship than with psychic readings. With psychic readings, it's a bit different. It's up to the psychic to interpret the uh, message, to interpret the meaning of what they are getting. So sometimes um, you might get specific information like a day of the week, a month, um, you might get uh, a name for myself. Some people will always get a name. Um, for me, it's it varies. It depends on who I'm reading for. Um, if I'm working as a medium, it depends on the spirit, what information they give to me. Um, so it, it does vary. It does vary reading to reading. Um, so. Um, when you're working, so I'm clairvoyant, so I work predominantly with um, sight, with using my third eye, but I also get, um, sometimes you might get smells, tastes, sensations, physical sensations in your body, and sometimes you know the meaning behind it, that's where the clairsentience comes in. Sometimes you just have to give that information as it's coming through because it might mean more to the person that you're giving the message to. Um, so I had, I had one recently, a couple of weeks ago, in fact, this lady, uh, I could just see her toes, I could see her toenails. So I just had to say to her, I don't know why, but I have to talk to you about your toenails. Um, 
and it, she actually had an ingrown toenail um, so that's not what I was feeling but I was being shown it uh, so sometimes you do just have to go with the flow go with what you're given go with what you get um, so if you're learning if you're developing uh, we're all still learning we're all still developing sometimes I get things that I've never had before so then I have to uh, work extra hard to try and interpret figure out what what they mean by that message um, so that's one of the reasons that we are not always specific like um, you know if you're re ringing or wanting to find out about a particular situation we cannot always give you specific dates and times because another thing is everybody has free will everyone has freedom of choice so specifically with cards tarot cards um, when we're doing a reading it the cards basically take a snapshot of the energy we're working with energy we're working with um, uh, with this kind of non-solid always changing entity um, so when we're working with cards, they, they kind of they take a snapshot of the energy at that time, that moment that you're asking the question that we're focusing in on. And then we have to look at uh, the interpretations. You can do it just by reading the cards, interpreting the cards and the meanings behind each card. Or you can do what I do, which is to look at the image and see uh basically what is the most important piece of information that your sitter your reader uh the person looking for messages the guidance what they need to know at that precise moment so we can't always um be specific about the future events um however we can be open and honest and tell you exactly what we're getting and then it might make sense hopefully it will make sense to the person later on if they remember what you've said um, very often they will it gets pieced together afterwards um, and then you kind of think oh I know what they meant by that um, so it's um it that's the challenging part about being a psychic or working as a psychic because oftentimes people expect you to give specifics like can you give me an address can you give me a town can you give me a city can you give me a country etc etc um, and oftentimes unfortunately we can't um, wouldn't that be wonderful if we could a little bit creepy sometimes don't want to be delving into people's business too much however um, what we can do is we can give you ideas of possible out outcomes we can tell you um, what the energy is right now and how it is shaping what is that turning into um, so yeah energy is ever changing it is like a big bubble of gloop um, and you know sometimes we have to separate things out uh, work with what it is that we're looking at trying to sometimes it is like guessing okay you can kind of go oh, okay this situation looks like it's shaping up nicely this is what should happen now if that doesn't happen that's okay because like I say we all have free will um, you can change very often people will have a reading see what this possible outcome is going to be and then they will take steps in the present to change alter that the outcome because they don't want to have the outcome so that's absolutely um, fair enough and that is a perfect example of what um, tarot reading and working with a psychic is all about um, so anyway I will leave it there um, and I will see you next time if you're new to my channel welcome um, please consider hitting the subscribe button and um, I will see you again